Okay, so for the following circuit, we have to find uh, uh, the Thevenin um, equivalent from terminals A and B. So let's start by finding the Thevenin resistance. Okay, so the Thevenin resistance, we turn off all the sources. So we can turn off this source, but the problem is we can't turn off this source because it's a, a dependent voltage source. So what we're going to do is focus on this portion. We're going to do a test charge. So, uh, and let's call this test charge one volt. Okay, we, you could call it whatever you want, but let's go with one volt. So R T H will be equal to the voltage, so which is one, all over the current passing through it. So the current passing through it, it will be from in this direction, and let's call it I O. Okay. So now, uh, let's do a mesh. So let's call this I one, I two, I three. And obviously we don't worry about this because this is not part of the circuit anymore as the uh, current source makes an open wire. So let's write the equation for mesh I1. So it's 4 I1 plus 2 I1 minus I3 plus 6 I1 minus I2. Now let's FOIL this out quickly. All right, and let's collect like terms. So we have this, and we have this. So this will be 12i1 minus 6i2 minus 2i3 equals 0. Now let's focus on mesh i2. So it will be 6i2 minus i1 plus 2i2 plus 1 volt. All right, let's foil everything out. Like terms. All right. Now let's do our final mesh. Mesh I three. So it'll just be minus two V X plus two I three minus I one. Now let's find something to represent V X as. V X will be pretty much equal to uh four ohms times the current passing through it. So the current passing through it is negative I1, and it's negative because it's ter entering the ter negative terminal first, okay? So Vx, we'll, we'll put that in here. So it'll be minus four I1, so eight I1 plus two I3 minus two I1. So six I1 is equal to minus two I3, so minus three, I1 is equal to I3. Now let's plug in I3 into uh, here. So it'll be 12 I1 minus 6 I2 minus 2 minus 3 I1 equals 0. So 12 I1 minus 6 I2 plus 6 I1 equals 0. Uh, so 12 plus 6, that's 18. I1, bring the 6 to the other side, so 6I2. Now let's isolate for I2. So 18 divided by 6, that's 3I1 is equal to I2. Now plug in that into here. So 8, 3I1 minus 6I1 plus 1 equals 0. So 8 times 3, that's 24I1 minus 6I1 plus 1 equals 0. 24 minus 6, that's 18i1. Let's bring the 1 to the other side, so it'll be minus 1. So it'll be minus 1 over 18. We need to find i2 though, okay? Because i2 moves in the opposite direction of io. So here we'll replace it with this. And we get uh, 1 over 6. Minus 1 over 6 is i2. Now we need to find IO, and IO moves in the op opposite direction from I2, so it'll be 1 over 6. And this is pretty much what IO is supposed to be. So it'll just be 1 over 6 here, and that's just 6. So that's what RTH is. Okay, see IO is the current passing through the voltage, uh, the 1 volt voltage. Now let's do the second part of the question. We have to find 
uh, VTH. So VTH will be the voltage at this region. And, and it's not at this region because the current passing through here is going to be zero as this is an open wire. So we have to find the voltage at this region because it's the nearest uh, the, to uh, A and terminals A and B. So let's start by doing what? Uh, whoops. Let's start by doing mesh one. Let's call this I one. Let's call this I two. And the current passing going around here will be just be five amps because because of this. So mesh I one will be four. I1 minus 5 plus 2 I1 minus I2 plus 6 I1. Now let's foil it for I1 minus 20 plus 2 I1 minus 2 I2 plus 6 I1. Collect like terms. It will be 12 I1 minus 2 I2 minus 20. Now let's do our last mesh. Mesh. Actually, let me put it here. Mesh I2, so it'll be minus 20 Vx plus 2 I2 minus I1. Uh, let's find a way to represent Vx. So Vx will be 4 times uh, 5 minus I1 because 5 is entering the positive terminal and I1 is entering the negative terminal. So it'll be minus 2, 4 times 5 minus I1 plus 2I2 minus I1 minus, sorry, 2I2 minus I1. So this one will be minus 8, 5 minus I1 plus 2I2 minus I1. Let's foil the 5, 8 minus 8. So this will be minus 40 plus 8I1 plus 2I2 minus 2I1. Collect like terms. This will be 6i1 plus 2i2 minus 40. Let's isolate for i1. So it will be i1 is equal to 40 minus 2i2 all over 6. So let's plug that into here. So wait, actually, let's do this instead. Instead of isolating for i1, let's do the other one. I shouldn't have erased the last part. Hold on. All right. So let's isolate for I2 actually, because then th this and this would, would cancel each other out. So it'll be 40 minus 6 I1 all over 2. So 12 I1 minus 2. 40 minus 6 I1 all over 2. This and this cancels out. Minus 20. Now we have 12 I1. The minus you know distributes inside the bracket, so it'll be minus 40 plus 6 i1 minus 20. So 12 plus 6, that's 18 i1. Now minus uh, let's bring the those two numbers to the other side, so it'll be 60. So i1 is equal to 60 over 18, which is 3.333. Okay, and we can use it now. We can find VTH. VTH will be six ohms times I one. Okay, because as the current goes downwards, uh, it drops until until it hits the ground node, which is zero volts. Okay, so VTH minus a value gives zero. So that means that value has to also be equal to VTH. So it'll be six times three point three three three, and that gives you twenty. So VTH is equal to 20 volts. And now let's write the definite circuit. So it'll look like this. 20 volts. 6 ohms. And it's not going to look like this because the question didn't start off with a wire here. It started off with an open wire. So it'll actually just look like this. Okay, so that's your final answer.